Hey everyone and welcome to our tutorial here on NoiseJunkies.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be exploring some of the interesting features in the Create Sky plugin that comes with Cinema 4D, hopefully in yours. So, this is a plugin here in Object Sky Create Sky, and if you download the demo version, it doesn't come with it, but it should come. In the early version I had of Cinema 4D, I don't know why, I didn't have it as I did not have hair either. Now I do it. So. I want to demonstrate how we can create some interesting star fields and atmospheres with it. I've covered those topics before, but in the old school days, we just create a sphere or a sky and they'll just apply the star field material. However, this way, creating in the sky, create sky settings, we can distort time and space in our scene. You know exactly what I mean by that. I'll show you. So, here you have the sky and the main navigation tool you have is the rotation here on this main axis. Now we just have, just like in an every object, have the x, y and z uh, axis and uh, the gizmo. You have this weird green thing and the axis here too. But if you move or scale, it's not going to make any difference because it is what it is. The sky just goes to infinity, so you can't really make it smaller. But you can rotate it to navigate and you will see some areas are just darker than others. So, okay, good, we're here in square one again. So, let's go to the options here we have now. And sky is one of them. And you can just go to horizon line. Now, if you do that, you'll see it just makes it half outer space with a star field and half uh, the planet atmosphere. So, if you want to create a shot where you're coming out of planet Earth, just use the rotation tool to incline it like 180 degrees and then you're you know coming out of the earth atmosphere and going to outer space now it does look a little bit plain doesn't it so we should probably add some things here on the basic settings something like clouds for example if you add clouds then it's gonna look a little more you know like you're coming out of earth but we do have this weird looking edge over here which we can't really remove, but we'll do our best. The best way to kind of remove that line is to go on uh, sky and atmosphere strength. Now, atmosphere strength, oh god, uh, kind of gives the ratio between Earth and, and the star field, but you're not seeing 50 50 here. However, 100% means that you're going to have 100% Earth atmosphere being displayed. If you set this to 50, you're just going to have 50% uh, opaque atmosphere. And it's, it's much more opaque. And if you say 10%, it's, it's almost nothing really. It's just more like a fog in outer space. So now let's work on another case scenario where we just want to create planet Earth. So you can go here on sky and once more use warm color for the sun and make it a lens flare. So now if you pan around, look for the bright spot on the scene. And you know, this is why you should use the navigator. The other way is just too complicated. And let's see where the bright spot on the scene is. And we're almost there. Yeah. Maybe there. So here we have our sun. So that's cool. You can pan around and you can go on the other extreme, which you really don't have a lot of sun. So, uh, okay, back to what we're talking about, uh, creating stuff here in the sky, right? You can go to basic and then you can load either a weather preset or a sky preset that Cinema 4D comes with. And there's a lot of funky things like this, which you sh probably should try to avoid for photorealistic stuff. But there's some you know, pretty intense ones like this, which creates a really cool, moody, cloudy thing. Even if a moon included. What else can you ask? Well, we can ask Cinema 4D about this edge in here, but... And, you know, our sun is still here, so you probably want to take that out if, if that's what you're trying to achieve. Or you can also load just a weather preset instead. And 
that kind of loads you know the whole feeling and all the things that need to be checked in they'll be checked in so yeah I'm gonna just kinda make this where it's supposed to be you can definitely create some pretty cool things last thing I want to demonstrate again in outer space we'll create a sky new one of course horizon line and we'll set the atmosphere string to zero like we did before so we just have full outer space over here so now that we have full outer space I just want to create a camera create go to scene cameras camera and now I'm just gonna back this camera off with the focal length and the field of view over here you can see the options right just going down and up and in the beginning of the tutorial I mentioned how you can distort time and space this is what I meant now you can just do something crazy with these stars and if you just rotate a little bit you can see the mass you can create definitely worth checking it out if you want to create a time and space kind of Star Trek thing really cool so yeah those are three things you can definitely create in Cinema 4D with the sky preset check them out test and create some cool stuff Thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope it was helpful, or at least it will be helpful in the future. My name is Rafael, this is NoiseJunkies.net, and we'll see each other next time.